what uh, else do you have to say? I think the major one, I think I'll, I'll let you go first with this one, since you brought it up, um, is the other controversial element with Halo 5, which is what a lot of people are dubbing ADS. I personally am not oh, dubbing ADS. Smart Scope. Go. You, you know, from the gameplay footage I saw, it didn't really seem like Smart Scope. It just seemed like another... Uh, I, or, or, no, not Smart Scope. It didn't seem like ADS. It, it seemed like what we were used to, you know what I mean? From what the multiplayer footage I saw, it just seemed like maybe a, a different sort of take on it, you know? Yeah. Uh, well, like, the zoom-in features that we've been known to love in Halo. All it is, is, in, in my opinion, my personal opinion, all this smart scope is, is they've taken the original zoom in, so if you had a BR in, in Halo 4 and you, and you scoped in, it's basically taking that, but then instead of having that instant sort of snap to zoom in, they've just added an element of realism shown because you wouldn't you wouldn't be running around a map um, scoping in on an enemy and pointing the gun behind you. You would be pointing it in front of you. All this is doing is showing that gun being pointed in front of you rather than you just seeing this scope. That's how I see it. Yeah, and you know, I, I mentioned before we started recording how uh, uh, Halo 2 Anniversary uh, seemed like Halo 4 when we were in all the pre-game footage or in the pre-release footage. It seemed a lot like Halo 4, but when I actually got to play it, it, it feels like Halo 2, just like with new, newer visuals and stuff like that. Yeah. When it com when it comes to smart scope, I think it's going to be similar in Halo 5 Guardians. Um, it, 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 you're you're going to have to play it in order for it. it you can't I can't necessarily tell or just I can't discern whether it's aim down sights Call of Duty style or if it's uh just our Halo. Our normal Halo zoom, just in a different sort of presentation. So I'm gonna have to play it in order to get a good idea on that, you know? Yeah, that's what I've heard from those who have played it, and it is, it is, it just, in my opinion, it seems to be more just a love child between COD ADS and Halo uh, Smart Scope. It's taking all the goodness of ADS, so it's showing it all zoomed in, showing it being more fluid, because obviously in Halo it's more of a case of if you're gonna scope in, chances are you're not doing it in the heat of the moment. This is just giving you that le little extra element. I mean, the assault rifle, for example, that's one that I think causes the most controversy because it's a case of you're zooming in with the assault rifle. Oh my god, you never used to be able to do that. Everyone freak out. All it's mm. all it's doing is it's not changing the accuracy of it. It's not changing the damage. It's not changing the spread. All it's doing is literally taking a chunk out your screen and blowing it up and making it look bigger. That's all it is. It's just showing you what you're shooting at in a little bit more detail. It's not making anything more accurate. I think with the SMG it does a little bit, but something like the assault rifle, I wouldn't, I'm not particularly worried about it. It's a nice feature because it, it takes all the goodness of ADS and sort of shows that gun being included. It shows, it's everything sort of, what's the word I'm trying to look for? It's more engrossing, it's more um, involving. It's, oh, there is a word, immersive. Immersive, yeah. It's making the game more immersive. You are shooting that, person you are pointing a gun at somebody you're not holding the assault rifle attached to your belt you are holding it out in front of you pointing at somebody and that's all it's doing i think in this is immersing you more into it but at the same time it's keeping what felt like halo halo by not changing that reticle by not making anything more powerful just because you're scoped in i mean the light rifle for example when they did that and they said oh when you're scoping it it'll take your three rounds turn into one mega round it wasn't a big problem and i don't think it'll be a problem with this yeah. Now, anything else you want to touch upon? Uh, not particularly in terms of those kind of major features, no. Anything else overall? Uh, let me see what else I've got in here. Uh, In-game callouts. I wouldn't worry too much about in-game callouts. That's something that it's... Uh, when power weapons come up, um, it, the announcer will say, oh, sniper rifle in 10 seconds I think that's a really nice touch um, and also the other half of that is saying oh the enemy has a sniper rifle some people are a bit whingy about that I don't have a major problem with it but uh, it's it could spoil the fun in a way but at the same time I, I think they'll probably remove that for certain game types depending on how competitive it is oh yeah and uh, a, a couple a couple aspects that I wanted to talk about too uh... I believe in the video 343 released on their Halo channel on YouTube, they said uh, n no ordinance, no ordinance drops. So uh, weapons are going back to be back on the map. It's going to be something that we're used to, sort of that arena style kind of uh, gameplay from Halo's past. And uh, that's going to be awesome. I think that's uh, just something that's always made Halo interesting, going 
like the battle for the rocket or something at the beginning of a match or the battle for a sniper you know and seeing where everyone else is in relation to you that is going to bring the competitive element back to halo that halo 4 didn't have um what what else uh I, I, I was paying attention to everything, and you remember how when Halo 4 was first coming out, they're like, oh, you, you feel like a Spartan, you can hear the clanging on your on your Spartan suit and all that stuff, right? Yeah. Um, well, to, to be honest, in the little bit of Halo 5 Guardians footage that I've seen, it, it seems more so a case in Halo 5 Guardians than it was in Halo 4. It, it feels like you're heavy in Halo 5 Guardians, yet you're moving fast still, you know? It feels like you're just more meteor if you know what i mean you know yeah that's that's what being a spartan is though eh? it's, it's meteor like ah uh, you know <laughs> yeah that's the like whole you have power that's the whole concept yeah exactly it's like having power is the whole concept of being a spartan you are super heavy you're carrying this ridiculously heavy arm around but at the same time it's enhanced it's got it's it's like the sort of emerging exosuits of nowadays you can twitch a little bit and the arm will just go flying and it's that which I think this new gameplay is really driving home is that you feel heavy but at the same time you're lightweight and you're a super soldier. Yeah. And then another aspect I wanted to touch upon, I've been critical of 343 because of this, but how Halo 4 looks decent, but I, I said that everything kind of looks plastic, right? Yeah. In, in Halo 4. And the environments, or e even when you're holding like your assault rifle in Halo 4, you're your suit, your your hands, it kind of all looks plastic to me. Um, not so the ca not so much the case in Halo 5 Guardians. It th it seems as though everything has sort of kind of uh, not 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Blended in well, you know. Yeah. And and it doesn't look plastic anymore. It looks like it belongs in the universe. And so I'm really appreciative of the progress and the strides they made with visuals because that just looks awesome. I think they were just trying to get the most out of the Xbox. 360 hardware so they made halo 4 kind of look like that but other than that i think halo 5 visually looks great yeah I, I completely agree i mean i think it's also a part of the jump to 1080p is that you've got so much more detail you can work with and so with halo 4 everything was a lot more smooth all the textures were quite smooth and that was obviously to get the most out of their uh, their graphics power but in this and the means and like Halo 2 anniversary and Halo C anniversary they look quite I don't want to say cartoony but that's about as close as I can get to it um, right. and that again is part of making the most of what they have but Halo 5 they're starting with a fresh palette um, new engine everything is going to be a lot smoother I mean they've take they've said that these original pictures we have where they said oh if you get these achievements in Master Chief Collection you can get these armors in the beta and, and then in the game later on and they looked very very shiny amongst other things uh, mm -hmm. but they've said that's all going to look a lot more rugged a lot more worn and I, I think they will deliver on that because I, I know they can I've seen from the, the gameplay the, the just simple things like the weapons they look a lot more metallic rather than plastic I think is the best way to put it metallic rather than plastic same with the suits and the environments i was worried about when when i for, what's i forget what the midship remake is called in halo 5 but when i first saw like the screenshots of it a few months back or so i was like oh no this kind of looks like halo 4 yeah but seeing it in motion uh with that gameplay footage recently it, it looks fine everything looks great to me and it's the beta is going to be 720p 60 frames per second according to josh holmes but um, over the next year, they can up it to they can prob probably up it to 1080p. Who knows the technicalities behind that and what would go go into doing that? But uh, so but even at 720p, 60 frames per second, the beta looks great so far, and I, I think it's awesome that they made those strides in visuals. I definitely think it's it's an improvement. I, a lot of people are sort of concerned about and complaining about it i think the two main concerns at the moment are the spartan abilities which as i said earlier in my opinion there's not much to be worried about most of it is catching up to other um other first person shooter genre expectations um and then the this ads um smart scope again i think it's just a natural progression the, mm -hmm. the trouble is a lot of people Unfortunately, I know this was said with Halo 4, a lot of people want a Halo 3 remake, but the trouble is you, you just can't do that and stay current. It, it, will, it will just die. That's, that's just how it's going to happen. I mean, 
Yeah, yeah. People are talking about how uh, three four three is killing the Halo universe, but let's be honest. If they if they stripped all the Spartan abilities, everything like that, and just released another Halo three with a new story, that would dissolve the fan base even quicker. I think. Exactly. Everyone would be. The trouble is, it's again, it's a nature of everyone wants to complain. You either have a new game where they're trying new features, and to be honest, they're doing a very good job of it. Um, and people complain because it's not what it used to be, or they can release Halo 3 and say they're not innovating. What? There's there's no middle ground. There's nothing you can do. Oh but yeah, I think you're not going to go about it the right way. It is, isn't that an axiom about life? You're not going to please everyone, whether you're in the gaming industry or whatever you're doing. You know, you're not going to please everyone. So you just hope that you're doing the best. And I think 343 is doing that. You know? Yeah. I mean, they're, they're, they're doing their best. So. Yeah, they're trying to catch up. They're, they're doing what every other first-person shooter is doing, and with good reason, because everyone in the industry is seeing that if we don't add sprint, if we don't do this, if we don't do this, we're going to die. We're going to be left behind. The the market wants fast pace. The market wants quick, responsive gameplay, and we've got to provide that. Otherwise, our competitors can leave us behind. And that's and, and, why Halo are doing it. And that's why the master. That's what the master chief collection is for. Uh, Go back and play Halo 3, go put back and play Halo 2. You can play all the games that you like to play, you know, the way you like to play them. I'm having a ton of fun, even though it's slow compared to modern shooters. I'm having, when I can get in a match, because the servers are horrible right now, um, I'm having a ton of fun playing Halo 3, Halo 2, Halo 2 Anniversary. It, it's awesome. Um, and I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a, I, I haven't played Halo 1 multiplayer in quite a long time, so that's taking a long time to get used to again. Yep. But, uh, so I, I can go back and play those and still have fun within that realm. But uh, w when it comes to a new release, pe like because Halo 5 is new, right? So people expect new things. So you can't keep it the same. And I appreciate what 343 is doing in that regard. Now, I, I was I was kind of uh, in awe when Halo 4 was coming out. And I was kind of like a appreciative as well. But then I got to play it, and it wasn't necessary. And, and, and again, it's kind of like your macaroni project as a kid. You're proud of it. Um, you're proud of what you did. That's what that's 343's project. You know, they're proud of Halo 4. But it wasn't necessarily the best Halo, in my opinion. And after a while of playing it, I got to realize that. Take with Halo 5 um, and the beta. I, I can't wait to play that in December. It's going to get me a better idea of it. But I, I'm going to be more reserved necessarily and not necessarily hype it up as much and when i can play the full release next year and get some time with it then maybe my uh i don't know fanboyism if you will will die down and i can give a proper judgment on it but i think they deserve a fair chance you know yeah i think the safe thing to say here is that whilst we think they're doing the right thing we can only say once we play it and 343 are doing the right thing they are doing a multiplayer beta and that is the important thing after december i will know am i gonna like this game i think because whatever it is whatever comes out in december sure they may make tweaks they may make a few changes but they're not going to overhaul it if people get in there and say i hate spartan abilities they're not going to get rid of them they may adjust them slightly but they're not going to get rid of them they're not going to get rid of sprints so what you play in december is going to be relatively representative of the final product so that will tell us whether we're gonna like it, I think. And and I know we've said this before, but that Quindel Hoyo guy is on the team now, and he was the guy who made a Gears of War Judgment's overrun mode, which was a highly well received mode for Gears of War Judgment. Gears of War Judgment was considered a bad game by Gears of War fans, but at least that overrun mode was really fun. And I, matter of fact, I still play it sometimes. But um, so with Quindel Hoyo on the team, I, I don't know. I, I'm I'm wondering what they can do with multiplayer and then how that would translate into single player too. Yeah. But uh, I yeah, think, that'll be awesome. I think the beta is sort of like a safety blanket, a safety blanket because lately either games haven't had a beta and they've been a bit of a flop. Um, or so take Halo 4 for example. It wasn't a flop per se, but it didn't have a beta. There were issues. Didn't really get sorted. Uh, Destiny uh, for me was a bit of an anticlimax in the sense that I played the beta and went oh my god this is amazing and this is just a small snippet when actually there wasn't dramatic amounts it. out of it yeah Whereas there wasn't this much is more to it yeah I said I said it in my review not to uh, we're going a little bit long here but uh not to say I said it in my destiny review uh rather than a story Bungie just wanted to rely on the fact that you would explore right like do strikes and raids and stuff but the actual 
story as it pertains to Destiny was just lackadaisical. It was, I don't, I don't, it, it was not enough, you know? Yeah, so the beta, and, um, in my opinion, gave a false representation of that. This yeah, one indeed. is a multiplayer beta. We know what to expect. We know if we like this, there's going to be a lot more of it. It's not going to be sort of like, oh, here's the beta, by the way, and the rest of the game we just didn't bother about. Um, we know that if we like this beta, there's going to be plenty more maps, and it's it's going to be that sort of thing. So, Right. Yeah. Um, so, you think we're running a little too long here? I think we are a little bit. Was there anything else you wanted to mention before we wrap up? Slash cover? I, n- not me, no. I have nothing else to mention. I'm just super excited to actually play this pretty soon. Yes. So, my body is ready. My body is ready too. Then I think that is a good comment to end it on. <laughs> All right, everyone. Uh, check out his channel uh, at Tizer Gaming. Well, actually, what is the URL? Uh, Tizer193? Unfortunately, it is. Uh, YouTube have done a thing where you can actually claim your own URL. However, you need to have a certain, certainly large subscriber base. I think it might be 5,000 subscribers, which uh, kind of stinks. And but, we're uh, totally small sauce. We're not anywhere near that. It's fun to be small sauce. But, yeah. uh, <laughs> and, uh, of course, check his out. Um, it's Times Rhymes as usual, and I'll uh, stick a link in the description. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't know when this will be out, because i have having very limited success getting a multiplayer match, so we will sort of go from there, and I'll try and get mine out whenever. Okay, me too. Cool. Later. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.